Hey friends, it's Deanna here, and today we're working to the point tunic, which is a really cute dress, but it's also obviously tunic, it could be a tunic, it could be a dress, but it's also super, super quick. So we're gonna do this together, and we're gonna get it done in record time, right? Right, let's do it together. But before I get started, let me take just a couple minutes um, to remind you to sign up and uh, subscribe and comment below so you can be entered to our fun fan giveaway of a $50 Alien Mag gift certificate so you can buy all those patterns and sew them all up with me because I know you want to. Come on. So just pause the video, subscribe, comment below, and let me know that you subscribe so you can be entered to win. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and get started. As usually I've cut up my pattern. I am not color blocking. I'm just doing a straightforward to the point dress. And um, so I've got my front, my back, my sleeves, and my neckband. And this is going to be so, so quick. S-E-W, so. So, so, just so, uh, quick, so. Anyway, so we're going to grab our dress. I'm sorry about all that. And I'm putting my back face up. You can put your back or your front face up. Either one will work. And then the other one, either the front or the back, corresponding will be right sides down on top of it. And the first thing we're going to do is sew those shoulder seams. Shoulder seams. Yes, these are my favorite type of dresses. I almost started uh, singing to you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and change the subject and just talk oh gosh these are my favorite type of dresses as I was saying because they are so quick and easy and I love that I love it so um we're gonna sew the seams on the shoulders I'm using my serger but if you don't have a serger you can do a stretch stitch on your sewing machine zigzag stitch lightning bolt stitch either one will work and yes let's go um I just got my hair did yesterday. My sister did it for me. My husband likes it when I am more brunette, when I'm darker, my hair is darker. So I went with a darker look this time. What do you all think? Do you like the darker hair? Usually I go a little bit lighter, but um, I went darker today. He really likes it. I'm getting used to it. No, I think I like it. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do our, we're going to grab our sleeves and we're going to give our sleeves a memory hem. And how we do that is we just do half an inch in to the wrong side. So we fold it half an inch and I don't measure my hems anymore. I feel like I already kind of know what half an inch looks like because I've hemmed a lot of garments. So I don't measure them, I'm sorry. Uh, so half an inch and then we're gonna steam. And that gives it like a memory hem so that your fabric remembers where the hem is gonna be. So that way when we sew it on and we go to hem it, it will remember it. It won't be as hard to like hold it and do it while it's already in the round, but we're not going to sew it. We're just doing a memory hem and we're going to do the same for the, our dress. Now, this is a pointed hem. So you're wondering, how do I do that? We fold one side in half an inch. It's actually easier than um, you think. I don't know if this is what's kept you away from this dress. I'm worried about the hem. It's so easy, but it's really cool because then people see it, you, uh, and you say, I made this and they're like, wow, that looks really neat. It's like a really cool design feature to have that, that, uh, pointed at the bottom, at the end. And they think it was so hard, but it really wasn't. All I did was I folded one in one side and now I'm folding the other side, half an inch in, and I'm just going to overlap it right here at the bottom. 
literally that's all we do like that's it that's it it's done so when you go to sew it on if you want if you're worried about it coming up I would suggest you can do a um, uh, basting stitch <laughs> sorry I didn't think of the word you can do a basting stitch right there just straight to keep it down but look at that perfect point I'm doing like a like a you know like when people do their little makeup um, and they show their makeup thing and they put their hand behind it so people can see it there it is perfect point do I look like Morticia Adams actually I just thought about that I took my son to see a movie the other day we saw Toy Story 4 which was super cute and um, I had a preview for Adam's family and I was thinking I, I, I wasn't thinking about it I just thought about it just when I looked at myself in the reflection of my camera okay so now I'm doing the same thing to the other side I'm just memory hemming it I'm not hemming it yet I'm just steaming it so that it remembers this this fold so after I sew the sides together and I come back to do it it remembers it and it will be easier to do and the burgundy burgundy lipstick and everything and the dark shirt I'm like all dark today anyway all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach our sleeves and what we do to attach our sleeves is we put up one of our arms out arm out we grab our sleeve we fold it down the middle so we can find that top that tippity top tippity top top and what I do is I always notch why because I feel like if I just mark it with a pen again I'm showing it no I gotta show it with my finger it's just a little tiny little notch that will when I sew it on you won't even be able to see it but I feel like if I um, my friend that taught me how to kind of sew she did that and I, I find it so helpful because I think that if I just pin it or clip it sometimes I have to remove the pin or the clip and then I don't know where my center part was and I get confused so I like to just have that memory right there all right so we put that little area that we marked you don't have to do that you can just put a pin however you like to do it but I just find it helpful right at the center of our sleeve the shoulder seam and we're gonna go down one side I just find it so helpful tell me any tips or tricks that you have that you find helpful when you're sewing I'm going all the way down and literally that that makes making putting bands together so easy I um I don't I mean yes occasionally I will mess up a band because you know that just happens because uh, it's life but um, usually uh, bands turn out pretty easy pretty good when I when I quarter and notch my bands because I can see exactly what they're supposed to be so if I follow my rules and I'm good all right so I did I attached one I didn't attach it yet to my serger but I just I put it on I can't I we're gonna try to do this dress all together since it's super easy and I'm talking too much I need to just hurry up and do it so you can see how fast you can really make this dress I'm doing the same thing to the other sleeve going all the way down the side and you you pull the sleeve slightly and I'm going down the other side and pin What? Tell me <clears throat> what other tips you have that make sewing really fast and easy for you. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start from the edge and sew that sleeve cap on. Raw edges together, right sides together. Always remember, we always do right sides together. being quiet right now because I'm trying to think of any other tips that I have and I really can't think of any other tips 
except for if you don't have a serger, my tip would be get one, <laughs> if at all possible. I, I, I got this one <clears throat> uh, given to me, and it's older, but it's great. It does great. But I, I saved up to get another one and when it came on sale on Amazon just to have a, a second one, just because this one was kind of sounding rough and acting a little funky, so I was scared it was going to break. Well, my other one that I got, I it's it's an entry level. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other sleeve as well because I already pinned it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that on. The other one that I got was an entry level, and I was so dumb, and I tried to sew through like a very very thick fabric. It was some jeans, and I was trying to cut off part of it. I don't know what I was doing. And my machine was not having it, and I didn't listen to my machine. You need to listen to your machine. I didn't listen to it, and I kept trying, and it, like, bent everything up, on, in, like, the knife and whatever. So I had to bring this one back out, and then I got to figure out what to do with the other one. Um, and it really was, because I got it on sale, it really was so cheap, but I'm almost like not even sure that it's even worth me taking it to a repair shop because they're probably going to charge me just to look at it about more than half of what it costs. So I'm like, I don't know that it's worth it to me. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck at a crossroads. All right, so now that we put on the sleeves, literally, we're going to put on the sides and we're almost done. We're 11, 11.49, 11.50. We're about 12 minutes in and we're more than halfway done with our dress. Now we're going to pin the sides and most of the time it's just been talking. So really, you can't count that against me. This is such an easy sew. And it is really cool because it's um it's like I said it has a really neat design feature with the with the um with the pointed uh hem so it's really neat. Now we're meeting the two the sides right sides together. Uh, usually we always sew right sides together. There is a couple instances like when we band when we're banding or something like that that we do uh, sew on the wrong side. Um, but usually right sides together. That was always kind of confusing to me once I realized that um, things usually go right sides together. Uh, that helped a lot. I'm going to go ahead and pin the other side as well. So that way we can get it all done in one clean soup. We're going all the way around. I always meet my seams right here. Armpit seams, you want those together. And then I go down and up. Move that iron out of the way. I've already dropped it about 10 times. And it's a good thing I do not have carpet in this bedroom because my carpet would be cinched. I drop it all the time. My iron, I need a better ironing board. Give me some suggestions of what ironing boards you have. But I'll tell you this, I am so cheap. I don't know how you are, but I am. I will try, like, this ironing board is literally, like, hanging on for dear life. It is so rickety, and, and the legs are all crooked and bent. But I'm like, it works. It still works. I get that from my dad. My dad is very much, like, he'll save everything, and he will keep it for literally ever. Like, seriously. I'm going to sew the sides together. Again, I'm using my serger. But if you don't have a serger, a zigzag, lightning bolt, stretch stitch of any kind on your sewing machine will work. So yeah, I'm talking about my dad. My dad keeps everything. Like, he's the kind of guy that, like, this is so funny. He um, will refurbish everything. And he's very smart. Um, so, like, even he'll take something like, oh, so he had this jet ski. And he is, he's a mechanic, so he fixes everything. But this one was dead, like there was no fixing. So he took it apart and he literally built like a pedal boat out of it. 
Like, who does that? My dad does that. He's so funny. Yeah, he attached a motor to a bicycle. You know, like, just things like that. So he keeps every single scrap, every single everything. So I'm like, in a smaller scale, I'm like my dad. I try to save everything. Because you never know when you're going to need it. <sighs> But I also, growing up in that, I kind of, I'm like more conscious because I'm like, I don't want to have 10 sheds full of stuff. So I try to be a little bit more conscious, but I still have a lot of stuff that I save. Like the reason why I haven't changed the clips yet, because I've got all these things that I got given to me. And I'm like, I can't just get rid of them. Like, they're good. They still work. So anyway, all that to say, I need a new iron board, but I am too cheap to buy one, and I feel like this thing still works, so give me some recommendations and tuck me into a good ironing board. If it's going to be expensive, I'm probably not going to get it, just so you know. I am not, I don't, I don't know why. But you know what I'll spend money on? I'll spend money on some food. You know what I mean? I love eating. <laughs> Our dress is almost done and it's looking fabulous. I can't wait. Um, so we're doing our neckband next. We got our neckband. We're gonna fold it right sides together at the short edge. And we're gonna sew it together to make one continuous band. Make sure it is uh, right sides together and make sure it's not twisted or anything. Just raw edge so. And then we're gonna fold it wrong sides together this time so the outer, the right side is showing because the right side is gonna be attached to the neck. And we're gonna fold it like a hot dog, meeting those raw edges together all the way around and usually I steam it because I want it to stay and sometimes it doesn't want to like right now it's trying to flip open but it's okay we will get it done okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and steam it down so it will stay straight and we've got here's the one inch where I sewed the sides together and we're going to the other side and we're going to do a little notch and put a pin there and that's going to be my front so I got my front and my back and I meet my front and my back and I go to the sides and those are my quarters and clip and put a pin there. The only reason why I put in a pin there is because I'm gonna use that pin to pin it to the neckline. Then we're gonna quarter our neckline as well. Why do we quarter our neckline? Because we need to know where the front and the back are. We grab our shoulder seams, we go to the back, and that's our back. Grab our shoulder seams again, we go all the way to the front, and that's our front. Because the front, especially on this dress, the front and the back are totally different. So if we go with the shoulder, we've got a tiny bit right here and a whole lot of band up here. So it won't fit correctly. So we got to meet the front and the back and go to the sides and find our middles, our quarters. You see how far away they are from the neck, from the shoulder seam? You do not want to go by your shoulder seam when you're doing a neckband because you will get it. You will it will not be even and it will be all wobbly and that will not give you a good neckband. Um, so that's why you want to make sure you measure. So I'm grabbing my back, my band, and grabbing where that seam is in the back, and I'm gonna put that on the back of my dress of uh, that first uh, little clipping I made. We match them up together, right sides together, raw edges meeting at the top. And then I go to the next quarter where I cut that one clip on the side and then to the front. This fabric it is so, so soft and I forgot to look where it's from. I'll have to I'll try to look. I'm, I'm trying. I got uh, somebody asked me to post if I could post where I got my fabrics from and I'm trying to do that. 
I'm gonna try to keep better track of where I get my fabrics at and post them on the um, on the info information and what is it even called information uh, uh, um, I don't know you tell me the little space at the bottom of the video that has all the information on the pattern and everything like that, I will try to put the fabric information on there as well because I know a lot of people ask me that. Um, so I'll try to do that for you guys since, uh, if I remember, that's the thing. And then, um, yeah, so that will be helpful. But this is double brush poly and it's super, super soft. It's like but buttery soft, but it sews great. And um, yeah. I have no issues with it. So now my band. I always sew with my band facing up. I feel like I want to be able to see how much I'm eating. And then I grab my next, my next uh, notch area, my next quarter, with my uh, ring finger and my thumb. And then with my middle finger and my index, I kind of grab the fabric um, just so I can guide it and make sure that they're together and then with my other hand I guide it and I go. Take your time with your neck band because you just did all this work and you don't want to get to the end where it's just your neck band and then mess it up. So I do take my time with my neck band. Make sure that it's even, make sure I'm doing it right. tail what I do with this little tail is I usually put it right over that serge edge go back with my sewing machine and zigzag stitch right over it right there and then clip the rest um, I'll do that at the end but now we got our hand our dress is done all we need to do is hem so you know how to hem the sleeves I'm just gonna show you how I'm going to hem my dress I'm going to refold <clears throat> refold where I already did that folding mark. See how easy it is now because I already had it done? It just folds by itself because I did that memory hem. So I'm gonna refold right here. And I have a cover stitch, so I'm using my cover stitch. But if you don't have your cover stitch, you can do a zigzag stitch or any kind of stretch stitch. Okay, let me tell you this. Don't, don't, um, you don't have to take my advice if you don't want to because I am a rebel, but when I did not have a, so, a cover stitch, I literally, when it's a loose hem like this, not on my arms, uh, but on, my, uh, on the bottom, I just do a longer straight stitch because I don't love the look of a zigzag stitch on my garment. Um, so I just did a longer stretch because it's not, it wasn't something that is tight. So it doesn't need to stretch, so I just did that. But um, again, I'm a rebel, so you don't, you might not want to take my advice. Uh, <laughs> stretch stitch works just fine, especially if you do it exactly the same color as your dress. You don't even, you can't even tell. Or a twin needle, needle, nettle. A twin needle would work as well. So now I'm going to do my hem because I want to show you how it ends. Up looking if I get it right and I'm gonna show you how easy this uh, cover stitch is it literally is this easy all I'm doing is I'm just letting it go keeping the fold making sure I stay where I'm supposed to stay down and then 
I'm just gonna pull it up and then go to the next side. It's kinda hard to see where it's at because it's blue, so it's dark. But like I said, if you wanted to, you could um, do a, uh, I keep wanting to say stay stitch. I guess you could call it a stay stitch, but a basting stitch right there if you wanted to. In that corner where the V, that way it doesn't move when you're trying to sew it. to thread either so that's great all right we're going to the next V right here okay pull it up I'm going to oh it would help if I put my foot up but I'm over here talking to you guys not paying attention to what I'm doing Going to the other side. Usually you're supposed to cut it and everything first, but I'm running over it again, so I didn't cut it first. I just pulled it out of the way and I turned. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. That's it. I just need to hem my uh, sleeves and I'm done. I'm just gonna clip right here where I did my V with my, uh, I ran over it again with my uh, cover stitch. So that's why I'm, I'm okay to just clip it down. And that is it. My V hem. Look at that. And our dress is done. I just need to go back and hem my sleeves and tuck in my tail. And it took us less than 30 minutes to finish our dress. And that was with me talking the whole time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything I did whatsoever. Please let me know what you'd like to see next. Um, if you're not part of our um, Facebook or Instagram community. We'd love to have you so we can see what you're making and you can see what we're making. You can be inspired by all the people that are sewing. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Please like, comment, share, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I know you already are, but if you're not, for some reason, we'd love to have you subscribe. Comment below so you can be entered to our giveaway. Share with your friends so that they can be part of the fun and we can get the whole world sewing. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.